Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 28. This training module will explore how to set up a flex fuel based tune using our sniper system. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at how we can integrate a flex fuel tuning feature into our Holly Sniper EFI systems using some custom program strategies that we're going to find work very, very well and you'll have a flex fuel based vehicle. Let's learn how we can accomplish this. Now, before we jump into taking a look at the setup and configuration, let's talk about the advantages of running on ethanol. So ethanol burns cooler, so it lowers our combustion temperature. It also is going to act as a higher octane fuel. So we get in cylinder cooling, and we also get the ability to have a higher octane effect burning ethanol in our engine. That's gonna allow us to run a bit more spark timing or and or running a bit more boost pressure. So we can increase boost, we can increase spark timing. It's gonna allow us to have the full potential out of the engine that we're trying to tune. So it's going to act as about 100 to 105 octane fuel, and it really allows a lot larger uh, headroom when you're dialing in your engine. So it gives you the ability to run additional horsepower and torque production out of your engine. The engine runs a little bit cooler on it, so there's a lot of advantages to running on ethanol fuel. Now the problem is going to be if you're filling up your vehicle with pump ethanol from a gas station. The ethanol content can vary anywhere from 50 up to 85%. It depends on what season you're in, so there's seasonal blends of ethanol, and even sometimes when you're expecting it to always be 85%, sometimes it's 80%. I've even seen it sometimes as high as 90%. What's gonna happen is as the ethanol content changes, that's going to change how much fuel we need to deliver to the engine as well as our spark demands to the engine. So we want to be able to account for this variation in our ethanol content and that's what a flex fuel sensor allows us to do. So a flex fuel sensor measures the ethanol content anywhere between 0 to 100% within our system and then it can report that back to whatever the computer we're working with is going to be and then allows us to offset fuel spark timing and boost based on the ethanol content. Now, Holly doesn't natively support this, so in order to start to work with this, we have to do some custom strategies and programming. It's not all that complicated, but there are some things you definitely need to know. Now, I want to make you aware when you are running on ethanol fuel, a couple of things we need to keep in mind. First, you need about 35 to 40 percent more fuel flow rate compared to petrol fuel to make the same horsepower and torque out of your engine. So, when we're looking at a Super Sniper or X-Flow Sniper system, we're going to have injectors anywhere between 100 or 120 pound per hour worth of fuel flow rate within each injector set that's in the actual, uh, the mount within the uh, Sniper system. So in those cases, we should have ample fuel flow rate to fuel our engine, but we need to be careful because you may run out of fuel injector if you're running very, very high power level. The other thing to keep in mind is that the fuel pump needs to flow about 35 to 40% more fuel flow rate compared to petrol fuel. So your fuel pump has to be, number one, the, having the ability to deliver the additional fuel, for, fuel flow rate needed, and then number two, be ethanol compatible. Because a lot of pumps that are just compatible with petrol fuel will wear out very quickly and die when they're running on ethanol fuel. So that is another thing to keep in mind. So we have to make sure that our fuel system is going to be adequate to be able to support our ethanol fuel. Things like your fuel line also need to be uh, accounted for because certain fuel lines aren't going to be ethanol rated or compatible. So keep all of that in mind when you want to run ethanol just because we can add a flex sensor and wire it in and configure all these, these specific details to, to do a flex fuel tune doesn't mean mechanically things are ready to run ethanol. So next point I want to make here is that when we are running ethanol fuel, things like your fuel filter needs to be serviced more frequently. We'll find that with the ethanol fuel, especially if you've ran a lot of petrol through your fuel system, it will build up a sludge within the fuel filter, which can obviously create problems. So you need to go in and service and check your fuel filter more frequently when you're on ethanol fuels. The last point is when you are running ethanol, you will have to check your oil and potentially change it a little bit sooner service intervals compared to just running petrol fuel, ethanol does seem to get into the, into the oil a little bit easier and it breaks down that oil and it requires us to do an oil change. 
So those are some things to keep in mind that could be disadvantages when you're running ethanol. But as long as you're aware of these maintenance related items or having that sufficient fuel flow rate, you should have no problems running your engine on ethanol fuel. So now let's jump in and take a look at how we're going to bring in a signal from something like an Innovate flex fuel gauge to allow us to integrate this flex fuel strategy within our sniper system. So the first thing we're going to do here is jump up into our sensors area. Now in my particular application, I have a super sniper system, which gives me three available extra custom inputs I can work with. We can see that right here. If you have a base sniper system, you're not going to have additional custom inputs. So therefore you're not able to do a flex fuel based tune. So a super sniper or an X flow sniper will have our additional custom inputs. Now what we need to do is take a look at the PDF for an innovate flex fuel gate. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.